Hello traders and welcome back to another Sunday special where I take some time to go over what's going on in terms of the markets and do some technical analysis and talk about some trade ideas that I have going into this coming week. Now this coming week, before I get too far, this is the week of Thanksgiving in the US. So I would expect there to be less volatility, less trading volume during those New York session hours, during those hours that Americans are going to be probably spending more time with their family. Now with that said, this also brings to attention our biggest sale of the year. I don't mean to sound sales or anything like that, but I really am excited about this because we don't do this very often. We are doing our Black Friday sale this uh, week only. The sale ends at the end of the week, and I want to tell you guys about it because we do not do sales very often. This is like a very rare sort of thing for us. We are doing 40% off of our Gold VIP membership, and I will get to the charts in just a moment, but I just want to show you guys what is in store. There's a link down below in the description if you are interested in getting access to this, uh, but again, it is 40% off of our membership, you get all sorts of perks. You get to see all of our trades in real time, myself and my staff of traders. Uh, you also get to see our, or join our 24 seven trading community, our training material. And we of course have trading software available for gold members, uh, which is exactly what this sale is for. So you guys, if you get in on this sale, you're gonna get all these things. We also have live webinars. It's a new thing that we've added here in 2020. We're doing webinars with a, a hired coach who is an experienced trader himself out of Australia. Very, very cool stuff stuff there. Uh, but again, if you guys have any interest, there's a link down below in the description uh, to get in on our Black Friday sale that we do again once a year. Very, very rare. So if you have any interest in joining us, now is the time to do so for a big discounted price. So again, uh, enough of that. Let's move on to the charts. Let's take a look at Euro dollar here. Uh, again, I think Euro dollar has been just teasing us because we've been going back and forth on this chart for a long time now. Actually, we haven't really seen any crazy moves one way or the other since about July, which is really a pretty long time for a currency pair to just be in consolidation. Now we do have some levels, however, uh, that I think will be interesting to watch. Last week, I thought we were gonna have the steam to push through this level of resistance here, but we did not quite get there. And I have a slight suspicion that perhaps going into Thanksgiving, a lot of traders, you know, the volume is already declining here uh, and traders are anticipating not a big move. However, I guess I could be wrong about that. But the big thing here for me, uh, looking at Euro dollar is watching for the breaks and moves above and below this range. I've been saying it for a while, but I just want to reiterate this concept. If we were to see a break above, looking for bullish continuation is the name of the game for me. This is my favorite setup on Euro USD would be a break and retest of the previous high here, anticipating a bigger move into 2021. However, uh, I don't want to be completely biased there. If price does decide to continue to show bearish tendencies here at this level of resistance, uh, if we see a break underneath support here, there very well could be some continuation lower into 2021 as well. So what's the deal, Nick? You're saying it can go either way? Well, I guess yes, uh, but there are trade setups either way. So again, I mentioned that if price breaks through to the upside, I will be looking for pullbacks. I'll be looking for bull flags. I'll be looking for continuation setups to try and get involved with the trade. However, if price decides to get bearish, what it would take for me personally to really get bearish on your uh, Euro USD would be looking for the continuation underneath the 200 period moving average. I use that as a long-term filter or a long-term trend indicator. It doesn't mean I won't take a short position before then, uh, but it would take some sort of setup that really, really seems interesting to me. I've actually been trading this range uh, during the last few months here, just kind of back and forth. I do have a short position that's in a little bit of profit. Uh, if that decides to go against me, I'll just stop out of it and look for that long position. But for the time being, I see the market as it is. I'm not going to be biased. I do see this area as resistance. And until that changes, uh, I'm just going to be playing the range. However, the big trades that I'm looking for, the ones that I really want to take are those break and continuation trades that I really like to take. So we'll be looking for those going into the rest of the year and 2021. Let's take a look at gold. Gold has been uh, interesting the last the last few weeks here. We've really entered into, again, a, a period of a very slow price action. Compared to back here when we had May, June, July, we had these big run-ups on gold. We're seeing kind of this slow decline on gold right now uh, here towards the end of the year. Now, where do we go from there? Well, we are dangerously close to this 200 period moving average. Now, if price decides to get down there, to me, this is probably my favorite buy zone that there is. A long-term uptrend, and we're seeing that slow pullback, right? That weak pullback to 
a 200 period moving average. Not that the 200 period moving average by itself is some massive support level, even though you know I would argue that it is a support level. Uh, the more important thing is that that just shows that, okay, uh, this overall uptrend has taken a, a decent pause. Let's look for opportunities around this area to try and get long in case that there's another wave. Now, if there's not, I just stop out of the trade and I look to do something else. But the big thing here is that if we can catch that pullback to this zone, I think we're getting a discounted buy if the trend decides to continue. So that's generally what I'm looking for on gold. Um, you know, I guess you could make the argument buying in this area is not terrible because it is support. However, I think that there's better trades to be had. Again, one of my favorite trades that doesn't seem to be playing out was a retest of kind of this zone here. Uh, and maybe that still will happen. Maybe we get kind of a, a poke down to that area, uh, but that would be breaking the 200 period moving average. So that might be a little bit conflicting. So really my comment on gold is nothing yet. There's not really anything that is super convincing for me right now on gold. Uh, unless we start really start, you know, shaking and moving here, maybe to the upside, we break through highs. Maybe there's some, you know, breakout plays that might be available, but that's uh, neither here nor there. We're not there yet, but we will be on the lookout for that anyways with gold. Let's move on to something else. Um, what about New Zealand dollar? Anybody trade New Zealand dollar? I think New Zealand dollar has been on a rip the last week or so. We broke through highs, and this is one of those situations a lot of times people like to wait for break and retests, myself included, and we didn't quite get one, right? We saw the price break through this area of resistance and just keep going right off the rip, right? So to me, that shows a very, very strong market, and if there is any sort of pullback to me, there is some decent buying opportunity there as the US dollar continues to be bearish in my view. Uh, we'll see if that decides to play out. So um, let's actually one more thing about New Zealand dollar. Uh, we can actually draw in a trend line here. We do have kind of this, this overall support. So any sort of retest of this area, I actually really like the idea of this trade here. Looking for that long continuation, just playing off that trend. If it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, then we will look for something else. Let's take a look in uh, in kind of respect to that. We'll take a look at Aussie dollar. Yep, Aussie dollar not as strong as New Zealand dollar. You can see we did not break through highs last week, which is uh, you know a little bit concerning for that strength of the trend. Overall, we still are just in a range here as well, much like we saw on Euro USD. So really for me, big thing here is looking for that break, looking for the retest. If I wanna go long, cause we are above that 200 day moving average. These are bigger trends by the way, guys, because we are going into a slow week. I'm not breaking it down on the one hour chart, the four hour chart as much, just because again, with all this, uh, you know, everybody stepping away from the charts in the US, there will probably be a little bit less movement going into this next week. Uh, let's see what, I do wanna take a quick look for you guys who watch Bitcoin, just because I did a video on Bitcoin. It didn't get much of attention. I didn't really think it would because a lot of you guys are Forex traders, myself included. I don't really trade Bitcoin, but I do like to keep an eye on it. Look at it run up. It did make a touch of the almost 19,000 level. We are very close to all time highs. Uh, and this is looking like a, lo a lot like what we currency traders like to keep an eye on, which is gold. Notice how it actually broke through its high. I'm wondering if Bitcoin is gonna do the same thing here going into 2020 or even 2021. What do you guys think? Comment down below if you have a thought on Bitcoin. Do you think it breaks uh, the 2000 level before the end of the year? That would be crazy, but again, when we're in one of these one runaway trends on Bitcoin, we already know what happened before. It can be very dangerous. It can also keep going for a lot longer, right? We could be here in this process that we did back in uh, 2017. So we will see what the market has in store for that. But no major trade ideas here for me. Um, honestly, I, you know, I, I saw some people saying they would short at 20,000, but I'm not really interested in shorting this thing because again, it can do a crazy, crazy thing. However, I will say one thing about Bitcoin. If you are short biased, I actually, in 2017, one of my best trades was shorting Bitcoin off of a retest. Now, what I mean by that is we basically saw this major, let's just evaluate this. And this is not just for Bitcoin, this is for any sort of market. We saw this incredible run up. Then we saw uh, a series of higher highs, higher highs, right? We were making those highs. And then we saw for the very first time our lower highs uh, and are, are just not reaching that high point again so easily. I actually took a short position around this area here. Uh, and my stop was over the highs and my target was like, I think it was a little more than one to one. And uh, it actually ended up being a really profitable trade there. Uh, and you know, that's one of those things, Bitcoin, 
being on the short side can pay off just like being on the long side can. However, it's a very dangerous game, honestly, either ways. But for me, if you were interested in being a bear and trying to, to fade the hype, I would personally not be interested in selling anywhere near where people are, are you know, just throwing money at this thing because it can keep going. However, if there is a sign of weakness, right, something like this, uh, there's opportunities to look for, you know, the breakouts, you know, to the downside, looking to to fade into that movement without trying to to jump in front of a moving train. So that's one reversal concept for you guys today uh, to think about. Kind of our special market of the week is going to be Bitcoin, I would say. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this video. Again, join us inside of the A1 Trading Community. Use that Black Friday sale code. Again, it's 40% off if you use YTVIP when signing up. So don't miss out. Again, it's very rare for us to do sales like this. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and have a great week ahead.